Hey everyone, so when I got back from work today, I had a nice little present waiting for me from Ford Performance today. Exactly three weeks to the day since I purchased this car, LR108, my owner's supplement guide arrived. Um, it came via FedEx. It comes in just a plain white box. There's no markings on it or anything, but the uh, packing slip on the front will have a reference number with your VIN and chassis number on it. This go comes directly from Ford Performance to your home. This never goes to the dealer first. So if you're picking up a car and you're worried that you were missing this, that's normal. Once the car is officially registered in your name and, and address, Ford go then goes and ships it to you. Like I said, I got mine exactly three weeks. Typically they say wait about a month before contacting Ford Performance if you don't get it. Um, and even with all the craziness going on, it still arrived in less than a month. So I was very impressed by that. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a look inside of it. Uh, on the inside, it's got a nice little magnet to hold it closed. On the flap and on the inside, we have this one booklet. It just has some uh, just generic uh, stock pictures of the car. Not my car, not your car specifically, but just just general pictures, as well as this order guide. If you want to order a plaque of your car with your uh, VIN number and your name on it, you can order in, it in the color of your car. So they've been doing this for a number of years now. It's still five hundred dollars, so it's nice, but it's a little pricey. They also have a, a Ford Performance thank you letter, basically sort of welcoming you to the vehicle. This is similar to uh, the thank you letters that SVT did years ago. So it's nice that Ford still does these things. You know, they go out of the way that they don't really have to do it, but they do. And then they also give you a certificate of authenticity with your VIN number on it and your chassis number on it. That's part of this uh, booklet. Uh, like I said, nice little thing that Ford does. Again, if you are familiar with Ford high performance vehicles and you owned them before, uh, they did this when they had SVT. And it's nice that they still do this. So a lot of other manufacturers don't do anything like this. So let's take a look. It also comes with this nice hardcover book. I'm not going to cover every page, but... Uh, uh, basically just talks about the history of the GT350. Uh, talks about obviously all the performance specs and has a bunch of various stock photos and you know track events and uh, that's actually an exact picture of my car. It just talks about all the aspects of the cars, the brakes, the wheels, the suspension components, all the things like that, the engine components. So it's a nice little thing to have if you want to read about the car, some of the, des the design of the of the car and just a lot of stock photos but again just a nice little piece to have so as we dive into this the really cool stuff is at the bottom um, this USB I took a look at this uh, this contains a bunch of videos about the car. It goes into a lot more depth, the same way the book does, talking about the development aspects of the car, the features of the car, uh, in a lot more depth than just some of the generic uh, reading material and various things you have. But this is just a, just a thumb drive. It'll pretty much fit any computer. And this is probably the coolest part. Most people have seen this thing, this nice little metal stand with your chassis number on it. And then it comes with this basic mock-up of the flat plane crank so if you want to put it on uh, you know in, in like a display cabinet or on like your office desk or something like that just a cool little unique feature to have and then last but not least it comes with just a generic poster of the car I'm gonna try to very carefully take this out without damaging it so this is just a generic 350 poster basically that what I assume is looks like Velocity Blue, same as the other picture of the car. So just a nice little poster to have with the car. And that pretty much sums up the supplement kit. You know, a, a couple of nice aspects and, and features to the kit. Again, it's really nice that Ford still does this. They did this with the SVT vehicles years ago, and they're still doing it. Not a lot of manufacturers go out of their way to, to, to offer nice, unique features like this. So I give Ford a lot of credit. Now, here's my opinion on this package. There's been a lot of discussion on the uh, 350 forum about is there really any value here? Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I did a big paperwork video on the paperwork and documentation for the 2000 Cobra R. Now, that car came with a lot of uh, unique paperwork and documentation, uh, the biggest being the black binder that that car came with. Now, when the car's new, people really tend to not really care too much about this stuff. They're not as concerned about it, but... I tend to think 
of these things in the long run. And as these cars start to become more collector's items and people are really looking for the cars to be all original and have all the correct aspects and features, I believe that these are going to add a lot of value the same way all the documentation did for the 2000 Cobra R. Um, those binders are going for well over $1,000 on the internet if you can find them. They're usually $1,500, $2,000. And not only that, but again, if you are looking at a collector level car, this is the kind of stuff that you look for. This not only shows that the car was cared for and loved, but it, it's another thing that will really set it apart because inevitably, as these cars age, these are going to get lost and destroyed. Pieces are going to be missing. And if you are own a car and you are looking to keep it for a long time and potentially get top dollar when you go to sell it, this is the kind of stuff that people look for when they want to sell the cars. Because when I was looking for my 2000 Cobra R in 2016, I purchased that thing. That was a huge selling point for me and a lot of other potential interested buyers of those cars. Did it have all the correct paperwork? And I was one of the people that was not even going to consider purchasing a car if it didn't have the black binder and all the paperwork that went with it. Because to me, that added a lot of value to the car. And it does affect the values of the car significantly. So, you know, come 10, 15, 20 years from now, when people are looking to add these to serious car collections and they want, you know, an all original, unmodified, unmolested car, a car that was just loved and enjoyed for how it was supposed to be as original as possible from the factory. This is the kind of stuff they're going to look for that adds value to the car. So that's kind of my opinion. I think we've seen over the years that history does repeat itself with the values of documentation on cars. We, we see cars that go over auction blocks and we see the value that original documentation adds to cars. And I think this is obviously just going to follow suit with that and going to continue that lineage and keep the values in the car so if you own a car and have this kit keep it in good shape you know keep it in a plastic bag somewhere it's not gonna get dust not gonna get dirty not gonna get faded by the sun you're not gonna lose the pieces to it because like i said inevitably as you, as more and more time goes on people are gonna lose this stuff the stuff's gonna get damaged and it's gonna potentially hurt the value of the car depending on what level of you know, originality and mileage and condition the car is and if you're like me and you like to keep your cars in pristine shape and you don't pour the miles on you know you, enjoy, you like the car you enjoy them for what they are but you know you don't pour on the mileage and you're not going to be dailying the car like just like i don't daily my 350r um, this is going to help add a lot of value to the car potentially depending on how long i i keep it when i go to sell it uh, down the road so uh, that's basically my two cents on the importance of documentation and paperwork for these cars. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.